Hey there, how you going? It's Simon here. I hope you are well this morning. A beautiful sunny day outside, but I'm not going anywhere. I would like to run you through Old Man by Neil Young this morning. Um, let's get straight into it. Okay, we're going to start off here with a D shape. We're going to slide it up to the fifth fret. So it's basically a, an F with a D bass. Okay. So um, strumming wise, I just want to quickly run you through that. Just get used to going one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So if you can just have a little exercise, just stop the camera, stop the video, stop the camera, stop the video a second and just one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Making sure the arc with your right hand is small. Yeah, so don't go too, don't be going like this. So one, two, two three. Four, one, two, three, yeah, like that. Now, the other thing is to hit the beat harder than the rest of them. So you're going to get one and two. And, and I'm also muting with the back of my hand a little bit. Okay. All right, so straight into riff one. <clears throat> this is the opening riff, the intro riff of the song. And we're going to go... This is quite tricky. The timing is quite tricky. Everything is tricky about it, really. So we're going to hit the bottom of that D chord, lift our second finger off. So we're going to go one and a, one and a, and then we're going to come on the up. So one and a two E, one. So we went. So you see what I mean by you're always going up and down. So one and. And then we're going to do the same kind of thing. Okay. So the opening bit. Okay. Then we're going to hit that hammered riff again. So you basically have one of those and then the hammered riff another hammered riff then a little bit of filler and then another hammered riff okay so one okay all right then we're going to head down to D so we're going to play D and then hammer on there onto F sharp. Okay, so with the main parts you've got to catch there are one and a, one and a, two E and a, three E, one and a, two E and a, three E. Okay, one. then at the end of the bar just return to D sus2. Okay, so you've got and then we're going to head up and play that whole riff again. I played the riff basically three times, that whole thing, so that... And then I played half of that first riff. And then we went down to D, and that's kind of where the regular part of the song starts. So we get this one, one and a, 
chords there are D, what looks like an F but is an F sus2 with your second finger out of the way and that's going to get hammered on and then a C, C sus2 so that you're going to be doing a lot of a little hammering on with your second finger and then you're going to go to a G. Okay so we've got a D for half a bar. One and a two E and a three. Okay, so one and a two E and a three and a four. Okay, so one and a two E and a three. Okay, then we've got a, we're going to hit that F. And then we've got C. Most of the time, you just so there one and a two e and a three and a four and a okay, and then we have an, a bar of another. In this section, we're effectively playing those chords. Um, D, F, C, G. And then D, F, C, F. Thing I should mention, the very first time uh, when the song gets to 31 seconds and it starts that D, F, C, G, the G is on the fourth beat of the bar, and then later in the song it's on the third beat of the bar. Okay, let me just move my chart here. That takes us up to 105, where we're playing... Okay, so how that works is D, 1 and a 2 E and a 3 and a 4 E and a 1 and a 2 E and a 3 and a 4 E and a... So we're playing G, A, B, C, ba 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 and then D. Twelve. We're going to hit the chorus. We're going to get D. One and two E and a three E and then we get back to D. And then we can hit an A minor seven. We're going to put a little G on the top here. Switch to E minor seven. Okay, so one and a two E, and then E minor seven on the down. Then we're going to fill up the third beat with E minor seven. Okay, so we're going to get A minor. And then we're going to hit the G on the four E. I know this is a bit complicated, but we've got. Okay, so you basically get A minor 7, down, down, up, down, up, E minor 7, down, down, yeah, fill up the rest of that beat, and then we're going to hit a G on the up as well. So we're going to down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay, and that's the G. Now that bar, the... Uh, we're going to repeat that bar every single time. So we're basically that section, the D, A minor 7, E minor, G section, repeats four times and that's a chorus, but he just doesn't sing over the first one. So then you... Alright, 
then we just go back from there, the end of the chorus, to the beginning of the verse, and we're at the 139 section. Then it leads all the way through there, a complete repeat, and then we go from the end of the chorus back into the very first riff that we played. So you're going to get that. Okay, yes, my, my cat Smokey is, uh, is pretty keen to get in the house, so let's just quickly finish this video up. That section, okay, Smokes, I'm coming, mate, I'm coming. And then we hit a, a decoder, so. Sorry, D. Cap cooling off, it's D. <laughs> F major 7. C. And then. Big D. All right, that finishes us off for the video for today. Thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe and uh, click the bell for regular notifications. There is a new video every Saturday. If you are able to, I would really be grateful of your support at patreon.com Simon Morell. Um, there I have a whole bunch of exclusive videos. I hope to see you over there too. Um, all the best, stay safe. I better go and feed the cat. Cheers, bye. <laughs>